you know somebody messed up on internet when you know that reddit is pissed off and reddit is definitely pissed off today with youtube dl being taken down because of a dmca request now youtube dl is a very popular one of the most popular open source projects used to download videos from youtube and a lot of other sites as well right but the name just says youtube dl but you can use it to download videos from a lot of other websites and it has just been taken down the repository has been taken down so you can see if you go to the official repository right here you can see you get a message that repository unavailable due to dmca takedown and that has been performed because of the reasons that youtube dl used certain videos as examples you can see this notice right here which has been block coded and this is one of the reasons why youtube dl was taken down not really a reason but sort of an excuse i would say uh, to just target YouTube DL and uh, yeah all the mirrors of the repositories all the you know sort of the forks of the repositories are also taken down so this is the notice which github has received right and uh, the most of the information is redacted the personal information you can see a lot of private blocks um, a lot of place at a lot of places but nonetheless the stories crux is that YouTube DL is no avail no longer available on github and we are not sure if it would be back or not so yeah there's that for people who have no idea what youtube dl is just like i said it's just a downloader for youtube websites for youtube videos and other videos as well but they just you know showed some examples of music videos and you know some commercial videos how you can download them and that got them into trouble now, as of now, you can go ahead on YouTube DL, that is ytdl.org website, which was the official, which is the official website of YouTube DL. And you can still go ahead and download all the binaries you want, right? You can download uh, the Windows EXE, you can download the tarball, you can basically download it and store it, right, if you want. It's not taken down from here. And I think Reddit also has a post where they actually share the mirrors of all the YouTube DL. So there you go. Right. So, I mean, you're not going to take down open source like this, right? Because once it is available on GitHub on anywhere open source and you take a very strong and public action to take it down, people are just going to fight back, right? That is what happens if you try to suppress something which is publicly available. You're going to see that, um, well, of course, I do have YouTube DL on my system itself, but uh, if you want, you it, it could be probably a good idea to create a private fork of the repo as well if you find it. So yeah, I mean, Reddit is definitely not happy with uh, this action from the authorities. But yeah, that's 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 how the world works apparently, right? And uh, one one time here, I actually read one of the developers complaining that he is also receiving some sort of legal action you can see that this is a former maintainer of youtube dl but he's still being he's still facing some legal action from the for the involvement in the project so that's that's uh, messed up i would say because you know the developer says that it was a long time ago so yeah i mean apparently now even working and contributing in open source can get you a cease and desist at least so that's messed up but uh, nonetheless the the you know conclusion of the story is that obviously youtube dl is here to stay you cannot really take it down like uh, you know any other project because it has been open source for way too long and there are a lot of people who have the software downloaded installed and uh, if not youtube dl then some other version of youtube dl will spin up very soon so what do you think about this have you ever used youtube dl yourself and uh, if you have then are you sort of impacted by it because i believe a lot of companies and startups might be using youtube dl in one way or another in their production builds as well so are you one of them and if yes would you continue to use it in your company's code base or whatever if not if yes just let me know what you think in the comments that's all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon.